Well, isn't this a sight of cuteness? There you go, friends. Um, you can see the ACs are getting big, bigger. They're growing quite well. Today I wanted to uh, today I wanted to talk about water bottles. We can, we ran into a new problem, which I mean, really shouldn't have been a problem, but it is uh, that we never had before. And I'll explain it to you. Um, I'm sorry. Let me get back in here. Here's the water bottle spout. And the problem is low flow. This one's not bad. It's flowing pretty good. You can see it. Can you see it pouring out? That's pretty decent flow. So what happens? Uh, a couple of them we noticed today. I noticed these two guys were getting a little upset and they were chewing aggressively on the nipple on the water bottle. So what you have to do is, if, is go around and check. Hi, bourbon. Good morning. Check your water bottle, pull on the nipple, see what kind of flow you get. There you go. That's good flow. That's what you want. Okay, so you have to go and you got to check them all and make sure that's happening. And I'm going to go over and show you what the deal is. And that's if you're using that style. These are Nivec bottles. Is it Nivec? What is this? Yeah, Nivec makes these. And on the side of the bottle, they give you an exploded view on how to take this apart. Now I'm going to tell you, you need a good pair of pliers to rip the nipple, right? This part here to rip this out of the bottle. But you can do it. Just twist it, keep wiggling it, it'll pop out. And then you take it apart. So, what happens is, and I'll show you, this part right here is called the cap. And it's the first part. The cap holds in the spring, which holds in the stem. And the O-ring goes over the stem and it all fits into the body of the nipple. The cap, this area here, will build up with algae. And it'll stop flowing. It's like a green, it's a cleary, kind of a, it's not colored, if you will, slime that builds up in this area right here. Sorry, in this area right here between the spring and the cap. That's where you'll find it. Um, so you got to take it apart. And I'll see if I I'm gonna pull one apart, see if I can find one with algae in it, and then I'll pop the video back on and uh, to give you a better idea. But you gotta watch this because your animals get really frustrated. So that's it there. That's the Nivec bottle. Well, the nipples are pretty common. Jake's got one here. What do you got? Just the pieces that hold it together. Let me see the cap. The cap has a hole through it. See that? That hole has to be clear. The spring has to be clean. You see? I believe the O-ring is down inside. Is the O-ring inside? What's it missing? No, it's in there. So put the put the bell back in. The stem. So we go stem. And the O-ring is already in the hole. The O-ring is already in the hole. I believe I was shown a trick for getting them out, but I just can't remember. And then the the small small, small diameter is. goes down in to a point and then uh, the cap the cap and then as you can tell you feel it's got good response it feels crisp going down and back up so here hold this here shoot me while i put this so to put these back in push we get twist. a pair of pliers to pull them out because the o-ring is that outer o-ring is extremely tight and I found I was using a uh, so that feels... vegetable oil to, to put them back in if you were worried about pushing too hard. I don't have any water. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. I'll go get some water and test it. Hang on. Fill some more. see that um, 
I gotta get my fingers too big. I'll get something in here. I don't know how doctors operate through cameras. Look at that. Look at the flow. That's just ripping through. So that's what you want to see. Um, you can see it does not drip. So that means the flow is shut off. That's all a plumber knows if it's still leaking. It's not moving. Um, so the, the the big problem is right now is that, uh, well, it's not a problem per se. We're on well water. So, uh, as we would assume most home setters would be. Yeah. So you don't have the chlorine that you do in city water is chlorinated. So it has a tendency to kill algae because algae is a problem. So that's one of the reasons why they chlorinate. So we get a little bit of algae more so than we would like when we were in the, uh, in the, uh, we were in that homes, the homesteading in, in the city or in, in on uh, municipal water supply. So there you go. That's just a short video today. Um, I wanted to uh, let you guys know how that works and how you can fix these water bottles and keep them clean. You should periodically clean them anyway. Um, We've been scrubbing ours. We started yeah. scrubbing a lot. So, but. And you can soak them in bleach, the parts, and then rinse them out real good. Not straight bleach. Make up a bleach solution. Say, uh, you know... In a, in a large bowl or something put a couple of tablespoons of bleach in there with a couple of quarts of water and just let them soak a little bit clean them out with a soft brush an old toothbrush would be perfect get them cleaned out and put them back together again but uh, you will need a pair of pliers to pull these to pull these nipples out they will not come out with your fingers they have a pretty good tight fit as you can see we got a lot of water bottles so that's just a tip today clean keep your water bottles flowing keep them clean keep the rabbits happy Check your water bottles for flow. Put your hand in there. Grab the nipple like I showed you. And, uh, you know, we'll be good. So we'll close the video with saying hello to Buck Buck and goodbye. And please remember to like, subscribe, ring the bell. And, uh, yeah, follow us for more tips. See you soon.